guys, Free the Show down here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of a add-on to the last video I made where I showed everybody my new audio microphone setup. Today I'm going to show you the best settings to use on Audacity. Now this can be for any mic, but specifically I'm using the Blue Snowball. But I've tested this with multiple microphones and it does work with anything you use. And it just enhances it and makes it sound a hell of a lot better than it does stock. So uh, basically what I start out with is I usually put right here, you can see the microphone record volume. I make sure it's on 0.80, that's just what it goes for me. You want to hit here and make sure at your loudest voice that you're not maxing it out. Me, if I yell, like I mean it doesn't, it doesn't get that much louder. It's only really when I, when I really yell, when I'm getting really excited that it really maxes it out. But the modifications that we're going to do, we're going to change that. This really doesn't matter, this is just the playback volume, really does not matter at all. So, I'm just going to go ahead, oh, uh, let me switch that real quick, okay, there we go. So, that's just what you want to do to begin with, just so that it's not too loud, it's not too quiet, it's just right, you know, going, we're going goalie box in a three bear style here. So, that's, you just want to monitor that. So now, we can start recording, and I can say whatever I want, but whenever you record, you want to leave at least five seconds of just nothing. And that's so that you can eliminate all your background noise. And I'll go ahead and show you guys an example of that. Hey guys, Freelis Showdown here, and welcome to this video where I explain how to do Audacity settings and stuff like that. Blah blah blah, random noises, random whatever, because this doesn't matter. So I recorded my little section of audio and immediately what you're gonna want to do is I'll go ahead and show you the 10 steps that you're gonna or the eight steps that you're gonna want to do bang on your on this side of the screen should be about right there um, shouldn't be able to so show my cursor over it but um, you're gonna want to immediately hit control a to highlight everything go to amplify you want to amplify it about 10 decibels right there okay now you can see it amplified it, but it's also going to amplify your background noise here, which is good because you're going to pick up more of it. So you just want to highlight this little area of five seconds at the beginning of the video. Go to noise reduction and get your, no your noise profile. Then you will control A, just like before. Go back to noise reduction. And these are the settings that I run on here, 48, 6.00, and 2. Um, reduce, not residue and then you just hit OK. It will take all your noise out. I personally like to highlight this after, right after that and cut it. My, my personal thing, I like to trim the end up a little bit. Then we'll go to step two, which is normalize. You wanna come in here, normalize. I just kept stock settings about minus 1.0 decibels. And then compressor, which is right there. These are, I believe, also stock settings. They may not be. I know I have fiddled with some of these settings, so you might want to check these over, pause the video, write these down if you have to. But this is how I always have done it. Compressor, it's going to make everything kind of even out. Now, this is where it gets intense. You want to go equalization, but if you have a really deep voice like mine, you kind of don't want to do the bass boost. If you have just a normal sounding voice, then you're going to want to go bass boost, and then you want to go treble boost. But I'm just going to do treble boost because my voice is already extremely deep so we will go then you want to normalize again normalize yes then it's going to cut it all down then for the final eighth and final step you want to go hard limiter and you want this the db limit at the decibel limit at negative 4.00 this one's one that one's zero i believe that's what they come as but you, this is the really this is the golden gem of it right here hit apply and close it now, now we'll go ahead and give you a listen, see what you think. Hey guys, Freelis Showdown here, and welcome to this video where I explain how to do audacity settings and stuff like that, blah blah blah, random noises, random whatever, because this doesn't matter. Now you can, you can tell that probably sounds a lot better than my voice does right now because I'm recording my audio through OBS right now. Um, but you can tell that there's already a lot of bass to it, so I don't need to do bass boost. The only issue is, is you can kind of hear the, my, the sounds of my mouth, which is weird. But it's probably because I have my face a little too close to the microphone, so I apologize for that. 
But that, in conclusion, that's that's how you get the best Audacity settings. If you want to screenshot or do whatever you do to get uh, the little thing on the, the right side of the screen, right, right there, right, or, eh, then go ahead and do that. But that's just my basic eight settings to make your your audio just sound perfect. So guys. If you like this how-to video and like to see more videos like this, remember to leave a like, comment, show your support, and subscribe. I appreciate it, guys. I, I really appreciate you guys taking time watching the video. I hope it helped you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.